This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to 5 Minutes Subnautica where we cover a Subnautica topic in 5 minutes or less and today we're taking a look at bases and base locations to be exact. So uh, there's two really good, well I feel that are two really good base locations and I honestly feel like you kind of got to have at least two bases in Subnautica just because of the way that Subnautica plays out. Uh, Unless you like to do a lot of running back and forth. I mean, if you like to do a lot of running back and forth, by you know, by all means, have at it. But uh, uh, when I did my playthrough, I built two bases, and I've been scouting around, and there's two really good locations. And this first location is in the safe shallows and the reason I picked these two is because they provide a good access to power and they provide a good access of what to what you need uh, in game in certain periods of uh, the playing through the game itself and the first one here in the sh safe shallows uh, if you take a look here let's see if we can get our cursor up here we can see our current camera world position right here uh, at the negative uh, 122.7 negative 8.3 and the negative uh, 457.5 and I think one of those is depth if we actually go back yeah the negative 8 is your depth so you're looking at the the first one and the last number and if we pop up here and we get rid of that uh, location there you can see it's at the back end of the Aurora you can actually see when the uh, geyser goes off there a little steam comes up but just head to the back end of the safe shallows and and you can find this geyser right here and this heat vent geyser whatever you want to call it uh, actually puts off a, a decent amount of heat you can see the temperature on these guys right here and these are the thermal generators if we go into our build menu here and we want uh, the exterior modules and you can see it's right there it's the thermal plant it's going to cost you five titanium two magnetite and one aerogel and these provide a crazy amount of power and i've just kind of daisy chained this back you can build closer to this if you want but i use the uh power transmitters they're just one gold one titanium and i am daisy chained it back here to uh, just a little bit further away and built my base here. They provide great power and you can also start off with easy solar power since you're here in the safe shallows and uh, solar pa power makes it super easy to uh, get power early game. And you can just stick the, uh, the solar panels all over your base and get easy power to your base early game. All right, let's take a look at the next base location. All right, so the next location is down here at the entrance to the inactive lava zone. If you don't know how to get here, check out my other video on how to find the entrance to the inactive lava zone, really easy. Uh, but yeah, right down here, right next to the entrance on this thing, uh, if you take a look at our camera world position there, you can see uh, whereabouts where we're at. Uh, but yeah, right down here, anywhere down here works, just depending on how far you build from back in there, you can see I have some thermal plants back there uh, depends on how far you'll have to daisy chain your power uh, right here on the cliff edge works really well but and then you can build a little further down you can see I've built down here on the uh, the second ledge down here works really well as well and I didn't have to da daisy chain the power too far we just uh, I got three of the little uh, power whatever those things are called the uh, power transmitters there's three of them bopping it right back to the base and it beams it all the way up to here and it works out really well for power that way you can get plenty of thermal power if we go in here I have three of them down there generating power for us and we'll just jump into the base you can see that we're getting great amounts of power to max out at 3250 and uh, there should also be plenty of the uranite crystals uh, up here on this upper ledge and back through the uh, cave a little bit so you should be able to find plenty of those if you want to do nuclear power uh, that's not nearly as renewable as the thermal power so I highly suggest using the thermal power but you know either or and it gives you quick and easy access to the inactive lava zone and the lost river it's in a it's like a great spot for access to a both without having to do a lot of traveling back and forth all right that's all I have for you this episode if you enjoyed this episode 
consider hitting that sub button. I want to give a big thank you to my Patreon supporters for making this episode possible. You all are absolutely amazing people. If you would like to join my elite crew of Patreon supporters, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and show your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.